Okay, now we're looking at uh, the movement here and breaking it down. And the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to tackle this right here. This set screw is actually a real pain in the butt. Um, so what I want to do is I want to turn it counterclockwise until I loosen it enough that I can slip this off. When I just said that, it came right off. Okay, this is the AM PM dial for the alarm. So uh, once we've done that, then we can we can withdraw this from the front. Uh, we come back around. I don't know of any good way to do this. Uh, if somebody does know a good way of doing it, I'd appreciate it if you leave, leave it in the comments. This is the power indicator, and this is the weight for it. And we got to get this off in order to take the power indicator um, shaft off so that we can clean the movement. And like I said, I don't know of any good way to do it. I just take a pair of pliers and bend it back and forth until it, it comes off. And getting it off is not a problem. Um, you can slide it to this thinner part. The problem is getting it back on. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So now I've done that, I can take the power indicator shaft out. The next thing that I'm going to do is actually remove the coil um, and the rotor. Now, this is very important. This uh, coil is special because you have a light in the clock. It has these two wires coming off of it, okay? So um, those, those two wires are connected to the back plate here. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that those wires aren't hanging on there when we take the screws out to remove the rotor. Um, so I'm just going to take these out and all the way out and put them through the ultrasonic, the other parts. So now I've done that, and my next step is going to be to take out these two screws, and then the rotor and the coil should come away. Um, the coil, what I have I've found is this is, a, is unique to Electro Alarm, as far as I know, but they're the Clinton Vernon, okay, um, which is less costly to buy secondhand also has a coil um, with these two wires coming off of it uh, for a lighted dial and in an emergency if you can get your hands on one of those if your your electro alarm coil won't work if you just extend these two wires by a couple inches then you can use one out of a vernon or a clinton so um so now I'm looking at this, I want to be real gentle, I don't want to screw up uh, this coil. This is the kind of rotor you're going to find in the Electro Alarm. Um, it's that B rotor, okay, that has the gear down here, uh, a hollow shaft, all right. Um, and this is what we're left with. Um, okay, so since I took that, um, took that off, uh, and I took, yeah, since I took the rotor out, the minute hand sleeve and the hour hand sleeve comes right off. All right, and then this is the time set shaft, which we can pull out of there too. And um, now it, it gets it gets funky. This we're not going to be able to take off. All right, it's staked on there, but this contraption right here we can take off by taking out this screw. So we take out this screw, which has a small spring with it, so we don't want to lose that. And if we do that, um, we can withdraw this piece out the back, and then this piece comes up out of there. Now here's the thing about uh, cleaning these. I have never cleaned this back plate uh, with the ultrasonic cleaner. I've done every one that I've done by hand using Brasso. And the reason I use Brasso is because uh, the clock oil junk that gets on these things, Brasso will break it down and remove it. So um, that's really the reason I use it. I'm not, that, I'm not concerned about polishing it or how shiny it is, but I want to get it clean. 
So that's what I've done and had good results with it. This one is um, in good condition. Um, one thing that's going on here is there's supposed to be a piece here that's broken off. And I don't see how this is making contact. Or actually, it's not broken off. This thing was turned like this. Because this is what is going to, the contact here is what's going to sound the alarm. Yeah, the guy I bought this from said the alarm doesn't work. And this is why it wasn't working. But if we turn it like this, that's the way it should be. So that there's contact right there. And it, it, there's if you look at, carefully at it, it looks like there are points. Okay. And um, I've never seen this set up <laughs> except for in the electric alarm. Now, working on the other alarm clocks, none of them use this. This is very interesting. So this wire right here... Uh, it, you want to be very delicate with. I can tell that somebody's been in this one and worked on it. Um, this this right here and these wires over here, um, they have heat shrink wrap on them, um, shrink tube uh, on them, which is nice. That means I don't have to do it. So um, in any case, uh, this is what we're left with. And so now it's about cleaning up all the parts, um, testing the rotor. Um, and the coil and then uh, flushing the, the rotor, um, taping the coil if they're good.